Hello, Miracle Swingers. I wanted to do a quick video today to tell you about what's happening in golf. Oh my gosh, my game. It's, um, I feel this kind of feeling like I'm going to wake up from a dream. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, so first of all, I'm going to tell you about a new technique that I started to play around with yesterday. Uh, I'll probably make a drill about it and demonstrate that uh, on MSC TV. I will make a video for YouTube as well. Um, but basically, um, I'm just using a soft lead arm. But I'll get into that after I tell you I just got back from playing in a, the nine hole skins game that I play in on some days on Friday. I won the whole skins pot. Um, I didn't miss hit a shot. Uh, I didn't make a lot of putts um, on the 18th hole or the ninth hole. Tommy and I blasted drives. Tommy shot 30 at this course before. And, um, you know, we were both sitting there with all the, all the skins riding. And I had a 214. I hit a four hybrid 22 degree about, about 20 feet underneath the hole, left myself a nice uphill putt. And uh, he happened to miss the green and, and I narrowly missed the eagle putt tapped in for birdie and picked up all the skins. But there was a lot of wind today and I didn't get to warm up. And the thing that's so crazy is I don't feel this need to I want to warm up, but the range was closed. They were like picking up the range. So I'm like, well, I guess I don't get to warm up. I just hit a few putts, a couple chips. And I used to be panic stricken that I needed to hit balls to see which way the ball was going to go, if it was going to be curving one way or the other. But yesterday I started to fool around with just having a soft lead arm. And I've noticed that Ben Hogan has a little bend in his arm, um, especially when you look at the slow motion swing from the shell lesson. And Jordan Spieth has that little bend in his arm. But I've always had the ramrod straight arm kind of like Rory McIlroy has. And I'm really trying to feel the weight of the club head with my over-the-top miracle swing. That's what I'm trying to do. And softening that lead arm gave me even more of a feeling for throwing the club head, which is what I really want to do. And God, I, I hit the ball so pure today. It's really, really, um, again, it's it almost feels like a dream. Um, I, I'm, I am trying not to tinker. I have this instinct to tinker, but tinkering within the system, you know, I, I don't know. I just figured I'd give it a try. And as of right now, I think I'm going to stick with it. It's just, it's just kind of nuts. Um, I noticed yesterday that I just hit the ball so straight with it. Um, I didn't, I didn't hit any drives that were bad, two were slightly in the rough, but they're bombs. I'm, I'm just hitting bombs. And uh, I just create club head speed even easier than ever before. Um, my last two rounds in the skins game were 34, 36. And I just, I just feel like there's some really, really good golf ahead of me. And it seems to be that these things are, are not fleeting that the over the top miracle swing has really done something for me. And even though it's not very visible and I'm aware of that, and I've said that I think because I swing flat, I'm not too tall and I have an aggressive weight shift to my lead side. I think that lessens the look of the over the top move, but there's no question in the feeling of my arm. If you're, if you circle your arm you know if you're circling it this way or circling it this way, even if it's small. But I feel that I'm going this way instead of backwards. And it just gives me so much more confidence. And it keeps my hips in place longer. And it gives me more downward thrust onto the ball. So what can I say, guys? I want you to join MSE TV. I want you to watch the Over the Top Miracle Swing I've never been so happy in my whole swing evolution. So I'll take some questions now. So how does the OTT move tie in with your previous video about the shoot? Well, um, 
I feel that I get the club head into the chute better than ever. There's two forces in the swing. There's rotational force that throws the club head out, you know, like think about the rings of Saturn, you know, it throws the club into orbit, but you need downward force to match it, to squeeze the club head into that chute. That's, that's what I feel when I'm hitting it well, but when I dropped it under one day it could be in there and the next day it's a push the next day it's a pull hook but when i do this i feel the accent is more on the downward force um, rather than the outward force so the force for my arms and my shoulder turn is more downward force the rotational force comes from my core and my hips so i'm not even thinking about my legs anymore one of my students asked me today you know, about that. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in using the legs properly, but I don't have to think about them. They automatically do what I want them to do. I'm not, I'm, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just thinking about my favorite quote from Sam Snead is I just draws it back and hits it. So that's how I'm hitting it now, guys. Just wanted to make this little, little video for you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend got a lot more videos that I'm looking forward to make. I downloaded footage of Mike Austin today. So many people have asked about that. But I've got a list right here of all these OTT swingers. And many of my friends I've known for years have began to discover my OTT videos. And my student that was on the range today, he told me, um, I haven't worked with him for a couple of years, but he told me he was absolutely in shock at how many great PGA tour players swing OTT. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I think it's the biggest elephant in the room in the game of golf. And I looked up over the top on YouTube and I saw video, video after video of guys fight the OTT, drop it under, flatten the shaft, do all this crap. And I, I don't think that that's the answer. I think the answer is to take the club so far to the inside that OTT brings you back to square. Vincent, Sneed's inside OTT. Uh, yeah, I was on the doorstep, Vince. I, I talked about it, but I was afraid to try it because everybody warned you. Every golf teacher, it seems, in the world war says, don't ever do it. It's absolutely insane. It's the instinctual way to swing a club, something that has a heavy end, like a sledgehammer or an axe. Okay. Corona. I, Corona Dave, I've always liked the OTT swing. Uh, used to do the Corey Pavin drill. Yeah, well, I do the Corey Pavin drill now, and um, and it's money. And now, you know, my focus is really on feeling the weight of the club head. And I am considering for the first time, I know that guys used to put lead tape all over their golf clubs. My clubs are D2. And uh, I know that uh, I think Mo played with E clubs, clubs that were really heavy on the end. And I'm starting to think there might be something to that. So that may be where the OTT leads me next is exploring equipment and feeling heavier club head weights. So you can really sense where the, where the club head is at impact. So I got to get ready to go to a nice dinner. So I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much, everybody. And I get a thumbs up on the lead tape. So I'll have to experiment with that. I hope you hit them long and hit them straight.